And so if we can wrap our head around seeing selling differently, then it can start to feel better. And we like things that feel better and we, we run towards them instead of away from them. I met Jen during a ClickFunnels course and she connected with me and we just kind of hit it off. And she's really one of those people that um, has been recognized as a top producer in sales across multiple industries. So um, she's got a ton of experience in retail, network marketing, real estate, uh, coaching. Um, she's built a six figure plus business for herself. She's consulted with those of you who know the, might know these names, Eric Ware, Ray Higdon, um, some of the names I don't recognize, T. Harvey, I think it's T. Harv Ecker, Dean Graziosi, and a few others. Um, and she's really one of those people, if you follow her, I would recommend following her, her page. Um, she's got some really cool stuff on there. She's got this superpower for really identifying and transforming our limiting beliefs. And since I've been following her and having conversations with her, I'm just like, wow, okay. I, these are things I kind of instinctively know, but just to have to someone who is keen enough to point them out has been really eye-opening for me. So um, her business is called infinite step, infinite step mentoring.com. And um, I will post the link to that. It, it is in our group if you haven't seen it already. So without further ado, Jen, welcome to our call. Welcome to Prove It. And thank you for being here. Well, thank you. Thank you for inviting me into your, your tight-knit community. You are a tremendous leader. And it's so fun to, to be in your circle and be exposed to all these cool things. And uh, just my connection to Prove It, I, uh, I used to drink... Um, health food store ketones and they were yucky <laughs> and I didn't like them but I kept trying and then and then all of a sudden after a couple of conversations with Jen then these beautiful rainbow of deliciousness arrived at my door and then suddenly my stomach was flat and all kinds of good things so first of all you guys have an awesome product and you're an awesome company and there's people suffering drinking health food store ketones trying to figure out how to make it work and you guys need to be out there and be a voice we're going to talk about um a variety of things today but one one of the ways that you can sell more is by really understanding that you're helping people like yes you're making money but you're you're relieving suffering people are trying to get their goals and they they will get there faster with you and they will be so grateful if you speak up and and at least tell them they have an option that's easier and tastier than what they're doing now so this is a course that i teach about seeing yourself differently, seeing your marketing differently, and it goes across several industries. And, and it certainly applies to, to health and health coaching and network marketing. And any, you, you can apply this, uh, it applies to real estate, it applies to online marketing. It's, these are concepts that are just timely and true. And so if we can wrap our head around seeing selling differently, then it can start to feel better. And we like things that feel better and we, we run towards them instead of away from them. One of my goals with you here today, because I understand the value of your product and how it helps people, I want you to feel so excited sharing it with them so you run towards people and, and not in a way that, that scares them or repels them. Sometimes we get so excited that people are like, whoa, your energy, like calm down. I don't even know what this is. And, and so how can we present what we've got in a positive and uh, a way that's magnetized to attract those people that we're meant to serve? And so that's what we're talking about. We're talking about how our mindset affects our marketing and how you can increase your value in the marketplace. We're just gonna touch on several things. First of all, how your mindset Set affects your value in the marketplace and also how long you last. You, you will not have long-term success if we don't get this piece right. And so uh, we'll, we'll want to adjust that. Your body language tattles on you. So even if you are trying to put a certain message out, your, your body, your subconscious actually tells more words than what you say. So we got to get that piece right, what you really think about yourself and selling and the product. The first sale that you make, how to sell without feeling icky how to inspire confidence that draws people to you. And so this is hard evidence, studies, testimonials, social proof, all those kinds of things that are, that are sales tools that you may not be aware that you have access to. And the fact that people need you to call them to action, 
there, there is a book that has got some great info in it. It's uh, Building a Story Brand, I believe is what it's called, Building a Story Brand. Uh, yeah, Donald Miller is the author, and he talks about that there's several steps in the, in the sales process, but one of them is you must call the character to action, and so we'll, we'll talk about that. Sideways marketing, where, where you're marketing, but it doesn't feel like it to, to you or to them, and so that's kind of fun. What happens if you don't show up and, and communicate what you've got, the scary part, and then how to get them to message you. And so you know a little bit about me. Sometimes I have to introduce myself. I'm Jen Gibbs, and it's very nice to meet you. I do have a background in sales, like Jen said. Um, I come from corporate, as well as my own businesses. And I, I ironically went into a bookstore at age 15, and I found this subconscious mind tape, like lose weight in your sleep. And it was like ocean. I'm like, what the heck? I can't even hear anything. And so I just, all of a sudden I became super interested in subconscious mind and I've been studying for decades since I, I don't know if I should say how many decades, but anyway, I'm quite, quite an expert and, uh, and in business as well. So how much can your business grow? There is a quote you may or may not have heard your business grows to the level you do. And so if we want a bigger business, we need to grow ourselves. We need to grow our mindset, our view of what's possible, a view of our abilities as larger. And I'll just ask you to question yourself maybe for a moment. Do you see yourself as a six-figure earner with Improve It? Do you see yourself as a seven-figure earner? Do you see yourself as an eight-figure earner? Where, where do you see yourself? Maybe you're just like, I'm just trying to be a four-figure earner. And th these are all stepping stones on the path. But, but where does your mindset kind of push back and say, mm, no, I'm not that. So, so that would be the level that, that you want to grow beyond if you want your business to achieve that, right? Very good. Trust and confidence in yourself relates and radiates to potential clients. And so we know that people need help. The company would not exist. The product would not exist unless there was a demand in the marketplace. The fact that you are here and that you use and buy the product and that you are passionate about sharing it, that, that tells us that there is a need in the marketplace. People have tried stuff and they have failed. They're discouraged. They, they sometimes are hopeless. They don't trust themselves. They're not keeping their word to themselves. And, and this is one thing that I really, really appreciate about this particular product and program that you guys have is this product, these, these ketones, the, the drink, it helps me. It, it empowers me. Like I was talking to Jen the other day and I'm like, this is a high performance drink. This is this is, I get to be back in charge of myself, not my hormones, not my insulin. Like I feel like a take charge person. So this is not just about weight loss. This is, a, this is about my whole self-concept, the confidence I have when I feel like I'm in control versus like making emotional choices about food. What you guys are doing here is not just selling a drink or a weight loss product. So I want you to begin to wrap your head around what you're really doing here because people really don't want to just lose weight. They, they want the feelings that go with that. They want to be free to move. They want to have energy to, to get up and down off the floor with their kids or grandkids. They, they want to not have their joints ache and all that stuff. I'm sure you guys are well-versed on all this. That's just the first thing that comes to my mind. But you want to believe in yourself and your product and, and be able to just shine brightly so that they can find you. And that belief in yourself and that you, you know you've got something good that's what starts to build trust for them and allows them the freedom to be able to evaluate, hey, um, I think this could work. And so uh, let's find out more about it. When you display a strong belief in yourself and your product, they feel safe. And the whole thing is, can you lead them where they desperately want to go? Do you guys have a picture in your mind? Do you have an idea in your mind of where people really want to go? like emotionally really want to go. They want to have more energy. They want to feel better overall. Yeah, they want to be able to do all sorts of things with grandkids, feel energized, feel rejuvenated every day. Yeah, not once in a while. Like they want to live their life every day and just have a whole better experience of life, more energy, less brain fog. Yes, all, all good and all good point. 
they may not even realize how bad they feel. And this, I want to just put a little um, asterisk on this because part of what we do in marketing is help people see where the problem is. They don't know why they just feel average. They may have gotten used to it and they don't even know that they're low energy. It's just how things are. And so part of what we do is helping them realize you do have a better option. You, you, it can be better. Remember how it used to feel. So, so you want to attach those kinds of emotions. Yes, age better. Woohoo. Yes. <laughs> Healthy relationship with food. That is a huge one. That was a huge one. Yeah, energy to exercise so you begin the virtuous cycle. Okay, thank you so much. I appreciate your engagement. That, that I just want to make sure that everybody is clear on what do they desperately want, right? What, what are they trying to do? Because we don't want to market the, the scooter necessarily that they're, they say we have a scooter to get them to that point B and they're going to hop on the back of the scooter and we're going we're gonna to drive them, we're going to guide them and, and get them there. We, we don't want to market the scooter. We want to market the point B where we're taking them to. And that's feeling good, aging well, feeling like we look good, having that energy. So yeah, I just want to make sure you guys are really tuned into marketing where we're going, not just how we get there, which is the drink and the products. You've probably heard about the know, like, and trust, like people don't do business with you until they know, like, and trust you, right? That's kind of a cliche in marketing. And I was thinking about this the other day. And so do they know you? Yeah, you have to be visible. You have to be out there. They have to have heard of you or else why would they, you know, there's no reason to interact. They got to like you. Um, I actually feel like that's somewhat optional. It's desirable, but more important than even if they like you is do they trust you to help them get a result? So if somebody I don't like is the only person that knows how to take me through the jungle safari without getting eaten, even if I don't like them, I'll still, I'll still pay them if I know that they can get me there safely, right? So liking is good, liking's a bonus. They trust first, that's more important. Can you get me where I need to go? And so the, the mantra I want you to have in your head is yes, I can lead you, I can lead you. And so when you're posting, think about, um, are we telling people, about the product and, and often find, uh, I find tragically, because it kind of breaks my heart that especially in network marketing, people hide behind the product and, and they get so excited about their product because your product is awesome, that it's easy to get caught up in that and post lots and lots about that. And yet people wanna do business with people. So I would encourage you make sure that you are shining more brightly then you shine the light on your product because as awesome as your product is, people, especially these days, want to connect with a human, a human that listens, that understands, that cares about them and not one that's spamming their DMs and their messages. Somebody that's like, hey, how are you? What are you struggling with? What are your goals this year? You know, what, what are you doing? What's working? What's not working? Um, questions are one of the best ways to, to connect and not not the inquisition, but just questions from the heart. How are you doing? What are you stuck on? What keeps coming up? Where do you get stuck? What's your goal? Can I celebrate with you? That's one of the best questions. What can I celebrate with you? And, and so think about what heart-centered questions could you ask? How could you start a conversation that inevitably is going to lead to, I need help with my health, right? We know it'll go there. If you ask these questions, there's so many people that are not succeeding that if you just say, I'm gonna put that on the back burner and I'm just gonna care about people, I'm just gonna love on people, it's gonna come around to where they're stuck and where you can help, right? Because we know there's a need. And so what they're gonna to wanna to know is not what you sell, but can you help me? I've tried it myself, I've, I've failed myself, I've tried this person, I've tried this thing, I've tried this program and this coach and this whatever, who can lead me where I really wanna go? So you gotta, you gotta care enough to let them know that, hey, I'm gonna stick by you. It's there's gonna to be tough spots. We're gonna to have to, you know, walk along the edge of the cliff, you know, a couple of times together. But I'll show you where to step. I won't let you fall. You know, this is this is why this particular program and setup is perfect for the product that you have because you have the bandwidth, you have the time to give the attention and the care, and to really pause and love on people in a way that is gonna connect them to you and build loyalty in a way that selling stuff doesn't. 
people sense your intention. So this goes back to where you're coming from as you market. And it might seem kind of fluffy and fuzzy and love on people, but there's, there's energetic stuff that happens. And uh, I don't know if you've ever entered a room and uh, you're just like, something's weird here. Some, there's something going on. Did something get said right before I came, right before I came in because the, the vibe is really weird. And so, so that's uh, whether you're very aware of those kinds of things or not, you, I'm sure you've experienced that at some point, just like, what's going on? Or that doesn't sound right. You know, you've gotten those gut feelings. Well, what you're sensing is energy and actual uh, vibrations that come out of our body, that come through our voice, that, that travel in the air. And it's, it's kind of fun to talk about. We could go really deep into science and Einstein and Tesla and all that. But, but basically, when you're saying things, that's not the only way you're communicating. And what you're thinking is actually louder than the words that you say. So, so you may have put this, uh, you may have heard this put as what you say is only 7% of how you communicate, right? And then your tone is another, I think, 17 or 20% or 23 or something like that. And then um, the, your come from, your body language and, and all of that kind of stuff behind it speaks even more loudly. It's the other 70, 80%. It's, it's tremendously valuable. And it's, we, most people aren't aware that we're, you, we're communicating this way all the time. When, when someone talks to us, we interpret their intentions based on all those things, right? And, and they do the same with us. So you can't fake it. You have to be real. So if you're like, I believe in myself and this is great, but, but you really don't, that, that immediately goes out the same time you're speaking the words and, and it, your body kind of tattles on you. Your, your vibe tattles on you. Your body language, when you, don't, when you believe something and you don't express it in words, it, it still comes through. Your body language communicates it. It's a twitch in your face and you're scratching your head or whatever it is. You're, we have ways of talking to each other. We, we teach people how to treat us by the ways that we express ourselves. And so that's why it becomes so important to really do the personal development work on yourself see yourself as valuable, see what you're sharing as good and valuable, and not to, to see yourself as somebody that's just trying to get goals and sell stuff. We, if we make that shift, that'll come through in our nonverbal communication, and it's so powerful. It can totally change the same sales conversation, the same words to a different outcome. And so coming from service costs you nothing extra, but caring more about yourself and putting yourself in first position in a transaction, it could cost you the transaction where if you just say, if you start with, what's your problem? I'm here to help you. That, that can shift the outcome. Congratulations, you all made your first sale. You're here and you have sold yourself and that is the hardest sale, right? And so you may be thinking I'm referring to the product because you, you guys are all loyal, prove it drinkers or you wouldn't be on here. Uh, but have you sold yourself on the fact that this is the solution and the program that people are seeking and needing? People are looking for solutions and they don't, they don't know what form they're in. They don't know where to look necessarily. And so what you need to do now that you are sold on the product, you need to sell yourself on your identity as a solution provider. You need to sell yourself on your identity as a high level recruiter, as a, as a level seven, as level eight, right? How, how do you see yourself? How could you see yourself? If there is kind of a gray area or a fog there, then just choose, choose what you want. Write the story of what it looks like. And once you do that, once you are really seeing where you could be, seeing how it could be, how many lives you could touch. How, how about instead of setting a sales goal, you set a, a service goal? How about a service goal instead of a sales goal? I'm going to help 20 people this month see themselves differently. I'm going to start conversations. I'm going to see where I can help. Some of them will probably buy once they know what I'm doing, but I'm just going to go help people this month. Take the pressure off of selling. And I, I would be very interested to know from Jen, I would be shocked if it didn't turn into an increased sales, going out and just caring about people and offering to solve your problem because you have a solution that works, right? You do, and it will bring you profit to believe in yourself as that leader. Nothing happens until someone sells. 
the whole world is holding their breath in anticipation, waiting for something to happen. A sale is a great initiator. It's a domino that, that kicks all kinds of cool stuff into action. Once the sale's made, then people start can start making stuff and trucks run all over the country and other people get jobs and, and dreams start coming true, right? But um, uh, as I was saying in that building a story brand, one reason I love that is they talk about in every movie, in, in The Hobbit, the main character does not decide to just randomly go on a trip. He is called to action. You know, Frodo, you gotta do this. You, we, you're the only one, you must do it. You know, um, if you just, you think of any major movie and the literal journey that people go on, they, something causes them to need to act. They, they have a discovery or there's a drama or, or something happens. And, and so we need to be the ones calling people to action, right? They're not taking care of their health on their own. They're, they're proving it. <laughs> they're proving the wrong thing, right? We, we, want to, we want to prove something else, but they're not doing it on their own and they're trying, they're trying really hard and they need you to get out there. And don't worry about being a salesperson because guess what, you already are. <laughs> you already are. You, I could say, tell me about your favorite restaurant and what's your favorite dish at your favorite restaurant. And every single one of you would light up and be like, oh my gosh, the salmon over here, you have to try it. Or this salad or this whatever. Pro probably you guys have amazing French food, at least, <laughs> at least some of you around. And so if I asked you to tell me that or tell me about what's your favorite movie, you would immediately jump into passion. And this is why it's amazing. This is why I want to share it with you. And, and so you already are very competent at sales. And especially if you're a parent, you are, man, you are selling kids all the time on clean your room, eat your veggies, get out of bed. <laughs> We're motivating people to action all the time. And the only reason you might hesitate or some people don't embrace their role as a salesperson is because of negative associations from the past. And um, I, I would beg forgiveness for this poor guy. He's in a stock photo, so he's asking for it. <laughs> But, you know, many of us have had a difficult experience on a used car lot and felt, you know, that icky feeling, that taken advantage of, the, you know, the power play. And, and this is a very old school kind of selling. And um, there were methods and there were names for the methods. And, and I'm educated on them. And I can tell you about different kinds of closes. And, and that's just not where our world is at these days. They want someone that cares. They want someone that's real. And, and so I come from, and I teach when I coach and mentor people, uh, what I call feminine energy selling. And, and it, it has nothing to do with male or female, um, whether you are a male or a female, it's the energy with which you, you come from. And so feminine, if you think about that, the yin and the yang, it's more of a nurturing, caring, compassionate energy and presenting our product as a solution and as a relief to the suffering of our client instead of, um, if you think of a, a very masculine, masculine testosterone, I think of like Braveheart and they're like, you know, half clothed and big old axes in their hands and sweating and full of muscles. And, and I'm a big fan of men, nothing, nothing against that, but that's just your, your take territory. We're going to, we're going to go, go heavy in our, in our one objective is the only thing that matters. And so, so there are times to, to really turn that on. Um, but that's, that's where we can shift and particularly for this product, particularly in a space that is um, sensitive, like weight loss, then it's a nice contrast from what people are used to, to go toward that feminine energy selling, the caring, the nurturing. And I, I would guess that I saw the majority of people that are attending here are, are females. And so I would guess you're marketing to a majority of females. And so that's going to go a long way. Uh, women, particularly during stressful times, are uh, we're wired to bond together. It actually is shown that um, that when there are stressful situations, men typically they they mentally put on their battle gear and they they fight um, independently more so. And women tend to bond together, and that's that goes back to your ancient, your tribal. You're like let's let's all hunker down together and we can defend all the children together type of thing. Like if you're really going back to like caveman and ancient kind of brain wiring stuff. And so, so really that's to your advantage, particularly in this industry, because women want to bond together, especially if they're stressed out. 
are they stressed out? Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, I would say yes, particularly right now, even if the, the current craziness of our world and the unusualness of the past 12 months was not with us, it's still very stressful to, to continually try to reach a goal, a health goal, and not reach it. And so, so when women are willing to reach out and welcome into tribe and, and you belong with us, we're going to help you, we're going to band together. Wow, like who doesn't want to be a part of that? And that's what you guys offer here. Again, you're not just selling yummy drinks. <laughs> They're delicious. I'm fully addicted. But that's not just what you're doing. You're not just recruiting either. You're not just growing your team. These are the words we use, but you're you're inviting these women that are lonely and isolated and scared and unsuccessful and discouraged and depressed. You're inviting them to be in your team and, and belong with you and to you're wrapping their arms around them and just being like come and you're going to be the hero you're not just the salesperson yeah you have the stuff that's going to help them but you're the hero you're the relief to their pain and doesn't it feel better to see yourself like that who who wants to be a hero who wants to help 10 people change their life and overcome the struggle that has been plaguing them for decades let's go ahead and i'm going to hop in the chat I'm going to hop in the chat because I know you guys have got to be passionate about this. So let me see in the chat who sees themselves as a relief to pain. Oh, yes, your fearless leader, of course. Who could begin to see themselves as the hero to the person that's been struggling, as the compassionate person ministering like this? It's almost, I don't want to say it's medicine. I know you guys have um, to be careful with claims and all that kind of stuff, but but to, as to be like the, the one with the, the healing balm, you know how like when your hands are, oh, my cape is on. Yes, Brenda, yes. <laughs> you know, when you're, it's like really winter dry and you wash your hands a lot and they start to get like cracky and owies and you're like, oh, oh no, this is not bad. And then you, you don't want to touch a lemon ever. No, no, ah, just regular life hurts. But then somebody comes in and they're like, oh, I have this super soothing lotion. Do you want some? Oh, man. Oh man, boy, do you, boy, do you. If someone is just like, hey, I'm selling lotion, maybe. But if they're like, hey, here, this is going to make you feel good. This is, I, I'm right here for you. Yeah, I'm the pastor of pain free. Beautiful. I love that label, Don. We all are. My cape is on. I think I missed somebody here. Yeah, baby. All right. Good, good. And I would encourage you. What if uh, um, I did this with a client just a few hours ago before we hopped on together? All right. I had them remove a uh, pretend label on their shirt. And so I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop sharing my screen for a second and just do this for fun. Okay, I want you to imagine that you have, you know those little stickers um, that you put on when you go networking or whatever, it says, hi, my name is Jen or whatever it is. You know those little stickers and they stick on your shirt and then they stick in your hair and you're like, ow, you know the one. Okay, so uh, I want you to pretend that um, you had a label up until right now that was that says um, small player, small player. It's not a hurtful label. It's it's just kind of like mm, okay, okay, it's there. All right, we can see it now. All right, so I want everybody to please put put, put up your two fingers. And I'm watching you. I, I stopped screen sharing. I'm watching you. Put up your two fingers and grab just the corner of the label. Grab the corner of the label. And, and you can make a noise if you want. And you're, you can take it off fast or slow, but we're going to take it off. Okay, ready? Oh, yeah. Quick like a band-aid. Very good. And, uh, and we're going to just drop it right in the trash. Okay. We do not need that label anymore. Okay. And you're going to go ahead, um, write it with your finger. If you don't have an actual physical paper pen to take notes, you're going to still write it with your finger and you write a new label for yourself. And I want to know what your new label is. Is it um, nurturer, carer, hero, reliever of suffering, level seven leader, rock star, MVP? What's your label? And every single one of you write, even with your finger, if you don't have a pen. Write your label. Good, I see some thought going into this. Awesome, awesome. New powerful label, words matter, words matter. I'll give you a couple more seconds. Some of you are really putting some good thought into this. Okay, 
All right, so we've written on our pretend new label, right? And so I want you to go ahead and reach down with your, your same two fingers and you're gonna peel it off the sticky back, you know, a little plasticky paper, you're gonna peel it off and then carefully, nice and straight, won't move your hair first. I want you to get your hair in it. Okay, and then you stick it right on and your new label, your new label, this is what you choose. This is your new powerful label. Oh, look at these smiles. This is awesome. You guys are amazing. Okay, I can tell you're participating, you're playing big, and that's awesome. Hey, fill me up the chat with what your label said. Fill me up. I'm going to change your life. I'm here for you. Oh, okay. Oh, somebody's showing me. Okay, let me see. Brenda, will it let me look at Brenda? She's showing. Um, what was it? Unmute, Brenda. Choose me as your hero, yes, and offering them the choice also. Okay, I'm gonna peek in the chat here and see what we got. Master problem solver. And I would say if you label yourself master problem solver, that also goes with a masterful income, right? Ah, so fun. Um, let's see, life changer, prove it, passion professional. Very, very, that's kind of hard to say, but I love it. Prove it, passion professional. Prove it, passion professional. Very nice. Okay. I provide value and service to others. Yes, master problem solver. Okay. And now um, I know these, uh, these labels are actually very easy to come by. So at any point, as you notice yourself, oh, hey, I just called myself a bad name. That shouldn't be there. You can physically take your fingers anytime. I give you total permission to use this anytime. And you just take off the label. You gotta drop it in the trash because we don't want it to like accidentally stick on your clothes later, right? Like you put it in the trash and you with your finger, if you got nothing else, you write the new label and you stick it on, stick it on. And and you know what? Um, there's no judging of, of invisible labels. So you can put whatever you want from there. Whatever you want. And and nobody's gonna call you out. And uh, so, anyways. I really hope your, your labelness sticks with you. It does not come off in the wash, by the way. Um, I was asked that earlier. This new label does not come off in the wash, so it, it'll be with you. And uh, you can actually move it from one outfit to the next, the next day, or you can just make a new label every day and put on every different outfit. Yeah, um, yeah. And these are um, either made in America or made in Canada, um, so you can feel good about taking your business there. Oh, you are the relief to their pain. Yes, you are. And and you're not going to improve their life a little. You're going to make their life 10 times better. 10 times, at least maybe 20 times. I'm not going to put limits on it. But but what changes if if a woman that's a mom starts going from 50 pounds overweight to not even not even dropping weight? What if she just doesn't? But she feels in control of her choices. Her mood is leveled out. Does that change her entire family? Does that change her marriage? Does that change if she puts on makeup maybe in the morning and feels good about herself all stinking day long? Does that change the goals and plans she has? Does that change the world? You guys are world changers. I'm not exaggerating. I want you to grasp this because I know it's easy to fall into I'm selling this thing and I'm trying to hit this goal. No, it is not about that. It is so much bigger. I want you guys to see it. I want you guys to see it. But let's flip the other side of the coin. What happens if you don't show up? They keep trying to figure out a loan. They keep buying diet pills. They keep um, subscribing to online workouts or, or maybe going to the gym or maybe hiring a trainer and then getting discouraged and not seeing results. And, and they don't have that community, that, that, mm, that love that you can put on them. You guys are set up in a system that allows you the ability to love on people in different ways. Even just when Jen puts a recipe in, in the Facebook, it shows up in, in my feed and I'm like, oh, she's still there. She's still caring. She's still pouring the love on. And I'm not making that because I'm not up to it tonight, but I know I could, so I feel supported. You see, it's important for you to show up. And it makes me feel like if I wanted the help, it was there. I'm not abandoned. I'm not alone. I'm not on a raft by myself in the ocean trying to figure it out. Somebody's there for me. Okay, so so A, they could try to figure out a loan. B, they they could get taken advantage of. You guys, this happens all the time. How many infomercials for diet pills are there? They're, they're looking for solutions. They're willing to buy solutions, right? People that buy from you are buyers and they're gonna buy something. 
And if you don't speak up and get in front of them, they're going to buy crap or something lesser, right? Or they're going to buy something of a program from someone that cares less or that's less effective. Somebody's going to sell them something. It is your duty and obligation to be the one that presents your solution before everybody else jumps in there that doesn't care about them. This is your obligation when you have a product that's valuable and life-changing. The other alternative, the problem gets worse. They gain more weight. They feel more and more and more like a failure every time they try and hop on and off the diet scale. You know, the, the on and off, on and off, trying, trying, getting more discouraged. And the worst part about that is that shifts not in a good way how they see themselves. How they see themselves worsens and lessens. It adds more emotional baggage. It is so important that this must stop. This must stop. So if you do nothing but provide support and help them even stay where they are instead of spiraling downward, that's a service. That's a service. If you have, if you have customers and clients that are stalled, that are at a plateau, celebrate. Be like, that is so awesome. You have stepped off of the elevator that was taking you the wrong way. Who cares if we hang out here for a while? Let's lock in these habits. Let's lock it in. We're still running together. We're still in stride. You're not gaining weight and you're connected with people that care. Imagine that you are at the mall and you are you have a big red wagon and it's filled with big old gold, gold bars, like the size that like you, you, it fills up your whole hand and they're heavy and you're going through the mall and you're like, hey, mister, I have this gold bar. Do you want one? Well, a lot of people would say yes, but some people would say no. They'd be like, no, that's too good to be true. I don't really believe that's gold. Uh, I don't know you. I'm not touching your stuff. You know, so not everybody is going to be open to receiving a gold bar. Does that make the gold bar less valuable? Heck no. Heck no. Will there be some people that recognize the value and be like, uh, yes, please. And I'm telling two friends, you can see what you're proposing as an ask for business, which makes most people feel icky. If you're saying like, I have these ketones, could you please buy them? That kind of feels more like the guy or the gal asking for 10 bucks, right? Whereas if you have an offer, you know you can help them. You've practiced communicating. And you guys, if it, I'm sure that Jen it would be happy to role play, get you familiar. You know, your, your tongue has muscle memory, just like your body. And so if you never say something and then you go to say it big to somebody that matters, you're still, it's going to be not familiar. So get familiar. Stick your teddy bear in your recliner at home and and offer to help your teddy bear as if it was your, your friend or your neighbor or whatever. Practice. Know you can help and practice communicating it well. And there's nothing wrong. It's absolutely right that you charge an appropriate fee when you help somebody. That's, that's the give and take of energy. That's even exchange. In fact, if you think about this, if you help somebody over and over and over, and you help them and you never let them help you back, they never, they never can do anything for you, they never pay you, it starts to feel weird, even if you're doing stuff for free, right? Yeah. Like at some point, uh, somebody's probably gonna be like, um, please don't knock, don't help me. Whereas, if there was an appropriate exchange of energy, whether it was money, whether it was service back or something, then it's a green light for that relationship to continue. So by charging people for your product, for your ketones, that gives them the green light, once they love it, to come back to you. And be like, that was awesome, I want more, right? But if you just only, only give free samples and, and you never assist them to enroll into the sale and to get a more significant change, right? Samples can only help bless their life so much. You help them through their fears and doubts to a significant commitment that can help shift their health and their life, then it feels good for them to come back and <laughs> have a Heaven knows I have come back and back to Jen with like questions and what's that link again? And could you help me with my little free thing? And, and, and so you guys are experts at that. You're experts. It's how you say it. And we've talked about your intention coming through, your body language coming through. And so this is a little bit of a recap of this. Confidence, uh, as people scroll through social media and they see a picture of you, I would invite you to, with compassion, Look at some of your pictures on your profile, on your personal profile, and say, does this picture that I've posted inspire confidence? Do I look like I believe in myself and that I can help someone, that my product absolutely can help someone? Does your picture, before you say a word, say, I can lead you, 
I can help you. I know where you want to go. I've been there a hundred times. I can absolutely help you. I'm a hundred percent sure I can help you with that. So kind of evaluate or more commonly, does your picture say, do you like me? Do you like me? Oh, someone presented me with that. And I was like, oh, that, that tapped my hide a little more than I wanted it to, uh, especially as someone in personal development. Uh, but a coach said, you know, ask me the same thing. And I was like, oh, and then I went back through and, and I was realizing I needed to do a little more work on liking me. I needed to get good with me so that it radiates because the people are looking for energy. They're looking for light. They're looking for someone that's confident and that knows, and they want to line up with them. They want to join them. And so that's how you attract good people, high level people to your team. Posture, your body is on your sales team. How you hold yourself. You guys are in fitness, right? You are in physical health. And so whatever you got, just be strong and stand up straight. And it's okay to be on the path. Everybody does not have to be a CrossFit bodybuilder champion chick, even though you've got some really good advice, right? Right in your little group here. Uh, but, but you do have to be postured to say, I'm on the path. I know the path. I'm on the path. I'm improving. And you got to be keeping your commitments to yourself and your own health goals. Energy. We talked about that they evaluate kind of their gut feeling. And it's not just what you say. Again, focusing on what you'll do for them. And they don't want to hear necessarily what your rank is, what your, what your sales records are. That doesn't mean anything until they're in your internal group here. And so everything that you, you post and share needs to be about what you're going to do for them. Because people don't have bandwidth to do a lot of extra until their stuff is handled, right? So we're focusing on what you'll do for them. And addressing their fears which would be uh, some people talk about objections. Why would they not buy? You can include those as pieces of the conversation going in so they don't come back up later, right? Um, for example, if you get a price objection and you, you can anticipate that this may be coming up, then you, know, you can reframe it on the way in. Be like, oh man, I'm so glad that I switched out of my Starbucks into my ketones because I feel you, I feel like a million bucks when I drink those. And it's about the same price anyway, so no big deal. But but I don't feel awesome about my health when I drive out of Starbucks. And now I do. So you can frame it in a way that makes sense and, and address some of those. I'm sure Jen's an expert at helping you guys do that. Um, focusing on the feeling they want relief. Your past victories, the success you've had, always frame it as part of your resume that this is why I can help you get to point B. This is why. I'd encourage you, uh, we don't have time to go through this today together, but write a resume of why you are a health expert. Why you are a health expert. This is a really fun uh, activity because if you ask yourself, like, what is everything I've ever done in my life that's relevant? What makes me an awesome master of this topic? Why, why am I awesome at helping people get healthy? You know, do you, do you have any experience in education or speaking or, or uh, for example, I, when I first got into real estate, I, I had to really sell myself on myself because I was like, oh, I don't, I don't have any deals done when I first was getting started, right? And so I'm like, why am I awesome? Well, I had been through school. And so I knew more than my clients and I, I knew what to watch out for and I knew who to ask. That's a key thing that qualifies you is knowing what resources are available. Where do I get information when I get stuck, right? And you guys have tremendous leadership here. I know you do. And so that also is a qualification. In, in, my, in my real estate career, I had um, I managed apartments in college, which seems like nothing. I was doing that for free rent. But guess what? I knew some stuff about real estate because I had been a landlord, you know? Um, and so I put that on my resume. This is how I build my view of myself as a leader, right? This is how I attach my new label to my shirt. And I believe it. I believe it. So it doesn't wash off. What, what can you find? I would encourage you to find 30 to 50 to 100, if you're, if you're an overachiever, reasons why you are a health expert. So you can put on that label. You can have more than one label, by the way. You can add the health expert label right on your shirt, right next to it. 
It doesn't matter if you have like 10 labels on your shirt because actually no one can see them. <laughs> but, but you can put as many as you want. There's no limit. You have secret tools. You have stuff people don't know about. You have like physical stuff to hold in your hand. You can help people. And you can help them emotionally because people are used to these huge ups and huge downs and, and woohoo, the scale, look at my after picture. And then you don't hear from them for six months. And there's a reason, right? They're having these huge ups and downs and you're the net that doesn't let them fall as far down, right? There's value in knowing where people fall off the path, you know, more than they do. Right. Subconscious love statistics. And we want to convince your subconscious mind that your new identity is health expert, is uh, level eight leader, whatever. Go ahead and pass up whoever you want. Uh, statistics are things that are specific things like this. Details are subconscious loves. So uh, how many, is it 19 people that you're going to talk to this week? Is it tomorrow? going to share 19 conversations and an act of changing the world and helping people with their health because guess what it's february 2nd and uh i think pretty much i don't know the stats 90 something percent of resolutions are abandoned by now right so now is the time for you guys to be jumping in for sure and what evidence can you provide that supports your new label <gasps> testimonials this is so fun and i know you guys walk a fine line here because of claims testimonials. Facebook is really twitchy about before and afters now, way more than it used to be. But you can gather your own uh, collection of testimonials, reviews, and do it for yourself. I mean, there's lots of ways. I don't know if you have a, a platform within Groove It there. Um, it's super easy to get like a free Squarespace or Wix, or there's tons of websites that are super easy. Google Plus you can use. Um, even just creating a, a, a specific Facebook page. There's tons of free resources. You don't have to pay and get a big website, but you want to find a place that you can start to gather and share things. So this could be screenshots. This could be testimonials. People write stuff on a napkin. It's fun to take a picture of like a handwritten testimonial. We're showing people that you can be trusted and this is for real. And the more you have, the more social proof, the more it feels safer to trust you and the more they feel like you can lead them, right? And so that helps do some of the selling for you. De develop a habit every time, even if you take a sample, uh, if you have somebody that starts and, and it's fun to do this at different stages. There's beginning, you can be like, hey, how was your first taste? Share it with me. Do, do an IGTV as you do your first taste and why are you excited and how good is it? And you know, you can take advantage of that middle of the road. Oh man, did, did this just help you not fall off the wagon? You know, how you doing? Do you have progress? And Hey, we had, we had a milestone. We had a goal. We're still on the road. Where can you ask for testimonials? And, um, and people are usually very generous with them. Again, there's lots of different ways that you can do it, provide, um, provide assistance of where they could go. And you can even ask them to copy and paste the same review or testimonial in multiple places. Most people, by the time they, they're willing to share a review, they're, they're, they don't mind pasting it in a few different places. So here's just a couple of different ways that you could do that. Man, if they're willing to get on video, yes. <laughs> Go live with them. Uh, do, do Have a watch party, maybe, of a little short testimonial. There's tons of fun stuff, and I know Jen's very savvy on social. She can guide you because 92% of consumers trust peer recommendations over advertising. You guys, you have more power than Coca-Cola, than Amazon, than all these kinds of things. People are asking, does this stuff really work? Is it really yummy? Ask them to share from their page and tag you so that it goes out to all of their friends. There's so much fun to be had here. And doing it in a way that's like, wow, this is awesome. Instead of, hey, there's a sale, there's a time and a place for that, but that really needs to be that, the 80-20 rule, right? The product, the sale, the deal, that needs to be the 20%. The 80 is you being real and, and helping people and being yourself. And like I said, create a place where you can gather those. So if people ask, we don't want to spam out, like here's my website with all my testimonials. But as the conversation develops, it can be a tool like, hey, you know, just so you feel good when you do your order, I want you to see the results some other people have had. And I know you probably have um, decks already with testimonials, but it's fun to start gathering your own of people if you share your friends that have had success, your other friends may recognize the names and faces, right? And that just garners more credibility because of that 92%. All right, sideways marketing. This is one of my favorite ones. 
so I used to coach for another health and fitness company. Um, that was one of my network marketing successes in sales and I, I was a top achiever there. And one of my favorite things to do was sideways marketing. It's, it's when you talk about that you're an expert, but you don't throw it in people's face. And so, um, so sometimes if you're reading this, um, a fun thing to share is like, oh my gosh, I just totally helped this person. Nothing makes me happier than helping other people succeed, you know? And, and so, so that's a little less sideways. That's a little more straight on, but sideways would really be like, um, what do you guys think of my new Nikes? Do you like this color? So why would you post about Nikes? Cause you're working out. Why are you working out? Because you're a healthy person and you have a healthy lifestyle and your old teddies wore out because you actually used them, right? So, so that's an easy one. Or what do you, who likes my new, does this workout top go with this workout bottom? Or, um, or I don't know if you guys use Boomerang. That's a super fun one. Um, it's less common now, but it's a super fun app. So you can like do a job for something that rewinds back and forth. And so that's a great way without saying, I oh, have tons of energy. You can, people are like, what the heck is she doing? She's, she's all over the place. She's so full of energy. I got to message her. What's she doing? And, oh, did you hear that? Mm, people, people are start, going to start getting curious. Like what is going on over there? She's so healthy, but you're not dripping product all over them all the time. And so they're not tuning you out right? You're, you're dripping happiness, feel good, flexibility, energy, optimism, all those things that you guys put in the chat before so well. As I start to wrap up, I would encourage you to continue your personal development piece, get better at relating to people, get better at spotting needs and coming from service and contribution. Our best thinking has gotten us where we are. I don't know if you're familiar with Dean Graciosi. He is a partner with Russell Brunson and Tony Robbins in, in several business ventures. And, and I love it because we all do the best that we know how, right? And at a certain point, it becomes time to get exposed to new ideas, to find new solutions. And that's where I was called to work as a coach and mentor is to help people see around the obstacles, see a new way to look at it. And I hope and trust that I pre presented some new ways of looking at things for you here today and continue to stay plugged into your upline, to your leadership. I, I know the heart of this company is good and I, I don't think you're gonna go wrong with that. The only scary part is what you don't know, what's unfamiliar, but it's only unfamiliar until you've done it enough, right? I, uh, before, I'm, I'm an avid 5 a.m. workout person now. My morning routine is rock solid. I, I gotta do that. But before I did that, I struggled to get to an early class. And the instructor said to me, oh, it's only early till you get there. And I don't know why it stuck with me, but I'm like, oh yeah, it's only early till you get there. And then it's not hard. So it's only, it's only tricky when it's unfamiliar, but if you do it enough, it just becomes like your new label, right? It can stick right on you. It can stick right on you. And, it, and then it's not scary anymore because you already know how to do it. I would love nothing more than your feed in Facebook or Instagram or wherever you're active on social to just blow up with people messaging you like, what the heck is this stuff? How can I try it? How can I taste it? Is it really true that so-and-so lost 20 pounds? What's going on here? Why haven't I not heard of this? And what the heck is a ketone? <laughs> What are the messages that you want in your inbox? If I can give you homework, I think I've given you a couple of things, but if you can handle more homework, you will get miles and miles out of this or kilometers and kilometers out of this. So why would people message you? Have you made them curious? Have you, have you made them optimistic? Have you made them hopeful? Have you, have you made point, point B where you can take them desirable? Do they believe that maybe really you could lead them? Have you shown them you could lead them? They desperately want to go there. They're looking for a leader. They're going to give money to a leader. So let's let it be you. All right. This is me. I'm Jen Gibbs, infinitestepmentoring.com. You can learn a little bit more about me. I'm happy to coach you and provide. I have tons of free content. I have a podcast. I have links to all my social and everything right there on the main website. And I'm in close communication with Jen. And so stick with your fearless leader. And I would invite you to join me in Facebook page. I'm constantly posting business and sales content and mindset and reframing. Uh, the, my favorite thing is helping you just get out from under 
fears, doubts, whatever, just like boldly shine your light. You guys have something valuable. I want you to share it. And I would love to be the support person on your journey because your journey is valuable and you are infinite. That is what I have for you today. Thank you for allowing me to join you. And it's been super fun. You guys playful out with your little labels. And so, um, yeah, wash your clothes. It's fine. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jen. That was so awesome. I'm just my, I'm glad that it was recorded because I think I'm going to go listen to this like once a week just to like, you know, get it sunk into my head. There were some really cool points that, um, for me, um, the sideways marketing thing for me, I love that. I never thought of it that way. And I'm always looking for new ways of sharing and, you know, uh, posting without being so blunt. And so I'm going to, I'm going to test that out and just run with it. And um, that was one of the things that I'm going to put into action, like right away. We appreciate you being on Jen so much. So thank you. I might so welcome. There's some thank yous in the chat. Um, but yeah, guys, okay. unmute if you have questions. But thank you so much. This was really, really good. It was, I truly, truly enjoyed listening to all of it. it like, oh, I can't thank even, you. Like, I can't even believe it's already 8.42. <laughs> oh, that's a huge compliment. <laughs> oh, thank you. You're so welcome. So thank you for having me. I appreciate it. And, it. and I could just feel that you have a very caring, warm, sincere group. And so go do great things. You have a fearless leader in Jen, and she will take you great places, stay connected, and, and go help some people. Awesome. Thanks, Jen. That was awesome. Thank you, everybody. Thanks for being on. Have a great night. We'll talk soon. Bye-bye. Thanks.